Hey YouTubers, welcome back to my channel. Sorry my voice is a little bit raspy. I've been sick these couple of days. I have kind of like a sore throat or something. I had a cold and then it turned to a really bad sore throat for like four days and it's the longest I ever had it. Anyway, so I'm still getting over it. Please don't mind my little nasaliness and my short breath. But today I am gonna do my first impressions video on this Sephora Pro palette. So these launched, I wanna say it's been like two weeks now. They retail for 68. So the one I chose was the one that's most similar to the Natasha Denona one. Just because I don't own any of her palettes and I see that it looks really, really good. So if this is anything like that one or similar at all, then I don't have to get the Natasha Denona one because that one's way too pricey. So this one is called the Warm Pro Pigment Palette. So when you initially open it up, it comes with paper. I don't really look at a paper ever. Full-size mirror, which is great. It comes with the sleeve. Um, it has all the names of the colors and then it has your colors. It has a good like weight to it I love that the mirror is giant. I don't like that the mirror tends to fall down I guess you gotta do a certain way so you gotta open it all the way and then slowly get it smaller Versus if you just try to lift small it'll fall back down Yeah it's a little weird. It's kind of like a ghetto way to do it. I already swatched a few colors, but yeah, the colors look really pretty. The shiny colors, the satiny ones, obviously has more of a softer finish, so it's not as chalky. The other ones that are matte are actually not that chalky. I'm surprised um, since all of Sephora's past palettes are really chalky. So I'm glad that it came out of a palette that's like very good quality and way to go pro team. So we're going to use this palette today and let's just see what kind of look we come up with and how the pigments the shadows blend and everything. Haven't used any of it yet on my eyes, so we shall see. I already noticed right now, initially, some of my shadows are popping out already. So I'm just using some tweezers to poke it back in with the corners of the shadow. It seems to be lifting the glue, I guess. That's not good. $68, it is kind of steep, but you get what? Two, four, two, four, five, six. So you get 28 shadows. 68 divided by 28. You're looking at about $2.50 a shadow, which isn't too bad. So I'm gonna get everything else ready and then we're gonna do the shadows together. All my face product is done, my complexion. Now we're gonna try out the eyeshadow. But I already applied a concealer as my base today. So let's see what colors I wanna use. I'm gonna first take a fluffy flat shader brush just like this one we're gonna take a nude shade matte one i'm gonna take canvas and we'll apply it all over from lid to brow okay so my initial reaction the color is really nice but as to when i dip my brush into the palette try not to dip it just tap it on there it has a lot of kickback i'm just gonna take my mac 224 fluffy blender brush. So with that 224 brush, I'm going to pick up the shade in clay. Just on the tip of the bristle, just like that. And then we're going to start from the corner of our eye. And this will be my transition shade. So far, it blends really nicely. Um, it doesn't give too much where I feel overwhelmed. I can't blend. Um, it actually gives just the right amount. Very buildable. I'm going to do fluff circles. I'm going to go in with a different brush now. I'm going to take my Duo Ended Smashbox brush. I'm going to use the fluffy side. I'm going to take this khaki shade. We're gonna apply this in our inner and outer corners for that sandwich eye. I do have to pick up a lot more on this color. I thought it would be a lot more pigmented. Could be a good or bad thing. Um, if you are tend to be a heavy hand, this would be good. If you tend to be very light on your touches, you might have to dig a couple more just to get the pigment payoff. I am now going to move on to our next shade. I'm going to use the other side of the brush now. And I'm going to use this brick color. I'm going to put on my lower lash line. Just for a, a pop of red. It looks very berry, the color. In the palette, it looks more burgundy. But when you apply it onto skin, it looks more like a cherry color. I'm gonna smoke it out a little bit lower. As for the bare lid area, I'm gonna take this color in peach. 
I feel like this color will be really, really pretty. I'm using the brush in M224 by Morphe. I'm gonna try my finger. Definitely a lot lighter. Once again, very muted, this color. I'm gonna try with a little bit of Fix Plus and see if that helps. I'm kind of struggling with this color in peach. It's not really showing any color. Is that just my palette or is everyone's palette like that? I'm literally like using my finger and scraping it in there and it still only gives me very little. In review, you can't even see the peach, for real though. I was scraping and scraping with my finger, nothing is happening. So that was a fail with the peach. Um, I just swatched it on my hand. I haven't swatched that one. Swatched it on my hand right now and it's very chalky. So I'm gonna skip that peach color and use something else on my lid now. Very disappointing. Um, let's try, let's try copper and see how that goes. So look, copper kicks butt. Copper shows up beautifully. I didn't even have to scrape it or anything. It just shows. It covers that peach so good because this one's so much more pigmented. So I can tell right off the bat that this palette or all the poly all other palettes aren't consistent. Now I'm gonna take this Morphe M518 and I'm gonna deepen my crease colors. So we're gonna go with Burnt Umber right on top of um, Khaki. I'm just trying to use as much colors as I can to see how they are. I'm gonna go back to our first brush, the 224, and that first color we used, which was clay, and just buff out. And blend it underneath too, so it will be one seamless blend. Liner eyes and mascara. I'm gonna use some handy black track by MAC. M217 angled liner brush. I'm quite disappointed in that peach color. You can't expect your consumers to pay $68. With tax, you're probably looking at like $72, $74. And not all the shades are consistent. So that's kind of sad. I don't know what other shades are like that. I mean, they are like the peach color where it has no payoff. So I just applied a little bit of the obsidian color. The black shade from the palette to darken my eyeliner. Just because I don't want so much gel liner in the inner corner, it tends to irritate my eye. So I'm putting a little bit of shadow just to deepen it. If you guys ever have that issue, that's a good trick. And then I'm just going to throw mascara. So I didn't notice at first, but there's quite a lot of fallout on my cheek. Over here, this is all fallout. But this is the final look of the shadow. So my first impressions. Um... The palette looks really nice. I think I'm gonna end up swatching all of the colors after this video just to see which ones are the no goods and the goods. So far, the only one I came across as no good is the peach color. I wanted the peach color to be my lid, which is the main focus color. That didn't work out, so I had to use um, copper instead on the eyelids to be my focus color. I know that copper is kind of like in that family of goldens and bronzes that are fairly easy to make. Because there's a lot of other palettes that have similar shade that has high pigment. I always go back to comparing to Juvia's Place because their palettes are amazing. Color-wise, impeccable. And their palettes are inexpensive. They're like all less than $30 or so. This palette is times two the price and not more. And you would think that for being that price, the colors should be all consistently um, high in pigment. It says it's a pressed pigment shadow palette. So I'm very disappointed in that. Another thing is that I don't feel that comfortable with this sleeve as my colors on the name of it. Just because I usually tend to throw away these sleeves or I lose them. Then I won't know what color it is because there's nothing on the back. I don't know. I might just glue it on like this so I know. But that's a little bit tedious. I don't know if I'm going to officially keep this palette but for now I will. Just try out more colors and see how they work. To buy or not to buy? I want to say if you have the money to Blurred. Feel free to try it out yourself, add to your collection, but if you want a palette for your like first time to your kit, first time using any shadows, I would definitely invest in maybe like Morphe shadows because theirs are inexpensive, high in pigment, or even just get single refillable shadow pans from MAC. Those are $6 each. Just get a couple of them that you need versus the whole palette. You probably won't use all the shadows. And like I said, if you are planning to make a kit, go with the Morphe ones. They're inexpensive, high in pigment, or even go with the Juvia's Place because theirs is high pigment. 
beautiful color those are my two cents on the palette i was having high hopes for it that they were gonna be amazing and you should get them now that i have them on i feel like i don't know i feel like there's so many out there now and i always look at the price point that price point is kind of steep not like needed for sure i hope you guys enjoyed this first impressions video i'm gonna put on a lip just because i feel like i'm so naked without it now that i have shadows on i haven't really worn makeup for the past two three weeks to be honest that's just because i don't really see the need to but it's always fun i always miss putting it on so i just threw on um stila patina beautiful color i bought it at imats last year completes the entire look i hope you guys enjoyed and found this video helpful this video is not sponsored at all i purchased this palette by myself with my own money because i really was curious how they did it's good but once again like i said there's so many better ones out there definitely not a needed item that's all i gotta say it's not a needed item it's one of those splurges if you want to I hope you guys have a wonderful day and i'll see you guys in my next one bye